hairs on, dude. It's, <laughs> I'm I'm sweating my ass off over here. But yeah, uh, so I don't know what else you see in the game. I mean, honestly, it's really hard to break down a game like that because there's just not much. Uh, one thing I I mean, just to go to the other side, John Moran, man, he's he's a special basketball player. He's gonna be. He's going to be the face of the league for years to come. I saw, I see flashes of Derrick Rose. I see Russell Westbrook, and then the he's just he's a really smart basketball player too. Which see, that's also, what I was going to bring up too, man. That's the that's the that's what is made. That's the reason he's so special. And he's he he's an athlete. He's a scorer, but he's also really smart with every single movement he makes. He's not he's not wasting any movements, and he's always making the right play. So he's. He's a special basketball player. I don't know about his haircut, his hairstyle, <laughs> but um, but as a basketball player, man, uh, if you're a Grizzlies fan, man, that's it's good for you guys. Yeah, I think um, I think the big thing is too they're without two of their starters. So, I mean, they look pretty good. Two men down. Um, yeah, Jaws Jaws a really special player because he's he's really decisive in what he does. And when he makes a decision to drive it to the rack, it's really fun to watch because he just flies. He's so, so athletic. And he does remind me a lot of Westbrook, actually. He can shoot He can shoot better than Westbrook, too. So he's going to be a really scary player this year for sure. I could see him, honestly, making an all-NBA team. Oh, for um, sure. He, he had such great rookie season, too. And he deserved that rookie of the year over Zion. And, you know, he's going to be a great player for years to come. So if you're a Grizzlies fan, you, you found your – face of your franchise and you're they're definitely competing for the eighth seed seventh eighth seed in the west for sure yeah and like also it was it was nice to see tyus out there man like anyone who's from minnesota like tyus jones man like if you're especially if you're around our age like that's the guy we all looked up to when we were in middle school and stuff and like we'd go we'd go watch tyus in the state tournament all the time and just to like to see him back in the target center man that's that's awesome, and he's just have. And just, yeah, he's one of the, he's one of those guys too that's just a really smart basketball player. Like he's a great defender. He's gonna make the right passes, run the offense, and that's really that's all you want in a backup point guard. He does all those things really well. So I mean, he's a perfect backup point guard. I just don't. What happened? How how did we end up? How did we lose him? As what happened with that? We just didn't pay him. I mean, I. I don't know if I'd rather have him or Rubio, but like, yeah, it, it's tough to, not having him. And then, I mean, man, I'm just excited to see what, especially what Trey can do. Yeah, especially in that Spurs system, that's going to be awesome to see. Like, if you were to tell me what what is one team that would be the perfect fit for Trey Jones in the whole NBA, I would say the Spurs. Spurs. Like, yeah. he literally is the perfect definition of a Spurs player, and I hope Popovich stays around and. Can help develop him because he's going to be he's going to be better than Tyus is, and that's that's going to be awesome to see for sure. I mean, yeah, we saw a couple. Of, we saw Gorgie too. You know, that was another <laughs> face that never never thought I'd see again. And uh, how was interesting. What is he? Forty three now. <laughs> he seems pretty old. I think he's, still, uh, he's still got that really big contract that we gave him. No, so we're. I think we're still paying. If it works, well, no, like we, that. Traded, we traded the contract away, so they're paying it now. I okay. forgot who we had to. Uh, I I don't know who we had to pay for that one, but yeah, I don't know. It was it was just an interesting game in general. It, it I feel like preseason games are supposed to like spark your interest and like show you some potential of what's to happen. And you know, this one was like this one wasn't my favorite one to watch, but <laughs> no, I mean, but hey, you know what? Let's just we gotta stick positive. We're we're it's a Timberwolves talk, man. We gotta get we gotta get everyone hyped up. Like not many people are doing this, not many people are talking about the Timberwolves. And we, we wanna create a we wanna create a great little fan base, little uh little community here of people that will just stay with us throughout the season and just chime in and give your takes here. So like we gotta stay positive. We gotta look forward to that first game against the Pistons and we think that's a very winnable game. Yeah, we think that's we think that's a hundred percent like the best possible game we can get. That's a really young team with possibly two rookies in their starting lineup. We should absolutely eat them alive the first game. That should be you know that should start off the season good. And yeah, I think. So, um, you, yeah, you go, you go, boss. Yeah, I mean, I th- I think uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough playing some of these West teams, but 
you know, if we have the offense and we shoot the ball like we do, I no, it's going to be a good season. I think um, I think we just love doing this Tim Rules talk, and we're going to be super, super excited to see the outcome of this season. You know, hopefully we get into the playoffs. And, yeah, I mean, drop a comment, you know, drop some comments, drop some likes, subscribe. We love doing these things. We're going to do them hopefully every week just to recap all the games that week, tell you what we think, what's upcoming, and keep you updated. Because I think uh, the last two videos have done really well. We'd love to keep doing this and make this a huge thing. For sure. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is just like, a, it's a fun thing I look forward to. And it's really helped me stay engaged with like the Timberwolves and just like, just really been able to pay attention more and just like focus up on like, because not everyone's able to do that. I mean, you might not be able to watch two or three Timberwolves games in a week. So this is a perfect opportunity just to like get caught up and then like see what we're looking for next week. So 